Being free from the burden of debt might sound too good to be true, but it's possible. And as we continue celebrating the nation's independence this 4th of July, consumer reporter Jennifer Profit brings us steps to achieving financial freedom. So some people feel like financial independence is being very wealthy. But financial professional Mindy McIntosh has a simpler view of what it means to be financially free. It's more of, okay, we have this budget, we know what's coming in, we know what's going out, this is what we can spend. The first step to financial freedom, decide what that means for you. Then map it out. It might require a revolutionary change to your budget. Yeah, I think they think it's going to be a bad thing. Yeah. And, and really it can be a very positive, uplifting thing if they just kind of know and feel like, yeah, I kind of, I know where I'm going and I know where I'm at. See, oftentimes sticking to a budget means delayed gratification, skipping that night out with friends in order to save for your future. The trick is being disciplined, but also don't deprive yourself entirely. You know, what are your wants? What are your needs? What do you like doing? What do you enjoy doing? And then how do we keep that budget friendly for you? Next, take a look at your debt. Get that smallest balance paid off first. It gives them momentum and it really creates some energy for them. Last, don't forget to pay yourself. So I don't mean pay yourself first today to go out and blow your money or spend your money frivolously, but pay yourself now for your financial future. That means live below your means. Save 10 to 15% of your income for your future, and Mindy suggests making it easy, electronically depositing your income into an account. You don't even realize that that's there. Let that be managed then by your advisor and how the growth is working, but now that's not part of your budget that you're working in. That's part of your retirement savings. A little change of mind and persistence and financial freedom could be your reality. Jennifer Profit, Fox 66 News.